Arizona Attorney General and U.S. Senate candidate Mark Branovich joins us right now live from Scottsdale. Mark, good morning to you. Thank you, Steve. How's it going? Well, okay, we know there's no enforcement at the southern border for the most part, and now they're talking about, you know what, we're going to do this pilot program. You're going to be under house arrest in Houston and in Baltimore. There's not going to be any enforcement of that. Yeah, it's, it's obvious that the Biden administration is systematically trying to not only dismantle ICE, but essentially eliminate our entire southern border. And the taxpayers, hardworking middle class taxpayers, are going to subsidize this progressive left social experiment. And unfortunately, it's going to be all of us are going to pay the cost and increase crime and increase drug addiction and really um, destruction in our inner cities. Sure. Uh, the proponents of this say if we do it this way, this house arrest thing, it would only cost us six to eight dollars a day versus one hundred and forty two dollars per migrant when they're in a detention facility. But when you look at the tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of migrants who have come across, Mark, where's that money coming from? Yeah, well, ultimately, the cartels are enriching themselves and the gangs are prospering as a result of the failed Biden administration policies. And so, you know, they, this is what they do in D.C., right? right? They throw out this number and that number. And, you know, it's all a bunch of malarkey, as Joe Biden would say, because the reality is, how do you put a price tag on 100,000 Americans dying last year right. from drug and opioid deaths? How do you put a price tag on the increase in violence and how people don't feel safe anymore going to the malls or sending their kids to schools? And so it's the job of the federal government, the Biden administration, to secure our border. And if they won't do it, then the states are going to have to do it. Because make no mistake about it, when you have literally millions of people entering the country illegally, that is going to be a huge cost on us. The okay. Biden administration has incentivized and decriminalized people coming across here illegally. So I say, if you want to save money, let's start by enforcing the law. Let's deport the more than one million people deportation orders. Let's pro stop providing welfare and social benefits to people that have entered the country illegally. That's actually the case I'm going to be arguing right. with the U.S. Supreme Court later this month. So there are things that the government should be doing they aren't doing. So it's just kind of head scratching sure. to think that they're all coming up with ways to accommodate people that have broken the law. Let's start with enforcing the law and then we can go from there. And at the core of the law is the U.S. Constitution. And you have read yes. the Constitution and you have determined and you're the first person who has done this, you read the Constitution and you realize, wait, what's going on on our southern border, all these people from other countries coming in, that's an invasion. Yeah, I mean, look, at the end of the day, when you have not only more than 2 million people coming into this country illegally, we know that there are also tens of thousands of gotaways. We know the cartels are making millions of dollars every day, enriching themselves and empowering themselves as a result of the failed Biden administration policies. Our communities are more dangerous. We see homicide rates going up, crime rates going up. We see a record amount of fentanyl flooding into this country. The price of methamphetamine is dropping. So Americans are dying. Make no mistake about it. The cartels are at war with us and they're using chemicals and drugs or precursor chemicals supplied by China. They are at war with us. And the sooner the Biden administration and his enablers in Congress like Cartel Kelly and Chuck Schumer realize that, the safer America will be. Well, let's see when that happens. All right, he's running for U.S. Senate down in Arizona. Mark Brunovich, we thank you, sir, for joining us live. You're the first one going to be in the Capitol this morning. He is, I'm telling you. Hi, everyone, I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.